Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hi. Hey, guys. Um, uh, soccer. No, rugby. Rugby stuff. GG montages. Original link to the video. Preemptive like. Original link to the video. Top description below that link to the Discord. If you are new, my name is Connor. I like to learn and watch and stuff. Let's go. So, Cobb was committed to the oh, Jimmy Callum. Yeah, I've got it. He's in big trouble. This is big trouble for Nono. Yeah. This could be his lot. Well, this Touch. could be. I might say, too, that uh, Jimmy Cowan has bounced back up again. Shoulder to the head. Is he Jimmy Cowan? Not only bounced yeah, up, he just wanted to press up after he milked it for a little bit. But, you know, you can understand, I think. Here's the signal. Here's the red. No, no, I feel for him a little bit. Taken. I'm nodding as if I'm like, yes, good red card. I, I don't know the rules as to when you should give a red card, but man, that it seemed pretty intentional, and that was a tough hit. By Falato, Williams wraps him up. Loose pass, though. Now Watson looking to get away from Mahalo. Williams there. Lines threw their arms up in the air straight away. Is this cardable if it's true? Is it cardable? I'm such a freaking idiot. I'm like, I didn't see it, and then I missed the slow mo. Lines threw their arms up in the air straight away. Is this cardable if it's true? Is it cardable? Oh, I it is. It is. I'm completely wrong and, and openly admit that. That is high. It's reckless. There's no wrapping of the arms. And it's hit the head. That's the worst part of it. He's, he's got the head of Anthony Watson. And it didn't, I don't want to pause too much. It didn't like hit the head back, which could injure it. I mean, you hit the head in any direction, it's going to injure it. But he hit it dead on, like dead back into the, to the neck. And, and, uh... There is a clear shoulder shot in the head. Are you agree? Yep. In the face. I think oh. it's direct. Yes, Trying to put a big shove in, but also a lovely pass away from Inari to Alo Oh no, that's a terrible looking guys. What was he trying to do right there? That was brutal. I'm gonna see the replay, but what was he trying to do? Away from was he just trying to kick it over so he could run for it? Inari to Alo Oh no, that's a terrible looking collision. Two players down. It didn't seem very intentional. Clark was looking to charge him down, but that's a oh, he's caught him with the knee and the head. Or maybe it might have. Oh, I hope he's okay. Um, so under the laws of the game at the moment, the player who is in the air with the ball needs to have the ultimate protection. He cannot be touched. And Emery, I know. Here's a set on screen. If it's a deliberate action, okay, let's just have a look. So the eyes are looking at the player. Clark waiting for him to hit the ground, but he wasn't expecting. Wow, sorry, tough, engaged the play. tough guy, though. Think about all of the sports where, like, I know, like, it's a very contact sport like this and football. I know you guys are going to say football, oh, rugby with pads. Okay, I get it. Waiting for him to hit the but, man, think about how many sports that would be, like, you wouldn't even have had to hit them. They'd be like, oh. And he actually got hit with a cleat and then continues to tackle. Ground, but he's like wasn't expecting Impre these Sorry, guys are that's engaged the crowd 10 phases now for the Argentinians <laughs> on the 22 oh dear oh dear whoa 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 step but this is pretty serious okay. yeah was that necessary guys I understand like I don't know all the rules so I feel kind of stupid asking if it's necessary 
We're clear. just going to freeze it at the Lavinini. point of contact on that first angle, Matthew. One sec. I think that is absolutely disgraceful. I think that, that could be the point. Here we go. We're going to freeze at the point of contact. There's no okay, need so to do it either. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem right like it was necessary. Who's nowhere near the ball. Rightfully, it's a red card. And it comes open side to Sitala. Hickey, oh, big tackle in there from C.O. Tomkinson. Oh, he's got him high. But just go back, guys. He's not falling at all. He's just stepping. Oh, yeah, that's a shoulder. I like to see a red card video for once on rugby because I've seen a lot of, like, big hit videos and good plays and, you know, big hit videos um, or tackles. And they seem brutal, but I never really know, like, if it was a good hit, a tackle. And now I can kind of see, like, what is really kind of forbidden and gets you a red card. Nasty shoulder, I think, there from C.O. Tompkinson. The player's leading with the shoulder, with the arm behind him, so uh, no effort to wrap or make, make a tackle, so that's a shoulder charge, and it's made direct contact with the head, so it's a red card. Well, what a way to end this game. C.O. Tompkinson is going to be showing a red card from James Munro. Two yellows for Otago, two this afternoon. This is O'Gara, Keith Ward. James is calling for it on this near side. Says, give it width. But through go Pinkerton and Finau. And then holding on to the ball. What happened? And it's now a bear pit. Look at this. Oh, oh. that, that. McRae's got to go. He's got to go. That is terrible. That's about as bad as it gets. This is no debate. I'm like, what's wrong? And I, I just see this guy. Just... Okay. Is he arguing? Is he against you, right? It's going to be a red card as well. You hear that? And you punch the guy several times on the ground. Okay? It's a red card on the touchdown's recommendation. Okay? It is a red card. Off Duncan McRae. Here he goes again. Atkinson. Oh, that was high and reckless. Why was that bad? Now, this could have a significant bearing on the next few weeks for Saracens. It's a huge I'm moment confused. in the match. It's a huge moment in the immediate future for Saracens and Owen Farrell. And Lusu. Oh. Goodness me. For Saracens and Owen Farrell. Lusu. Oh. Goodness me. He's going to be sent off, and the uh, Bordeaux player is furious. Well, that's the kind of dangerous play that we just do not want to see in the game. I know you guys don't like the football comparisons, but that's like someone rushing the like the punter like after the someone catches it and punts it and it's away and then they still tackle the kicker well that's the kind of dangerous play that we just do not want to see in the game um. oh hands around wainwright's throat oh and an elbow to wainwright's face there dupont waits for the moment Keep an eye on five, France, with a scrum cap there, and now that. Keep an eye on five, France, with a scrum cap there, and now that. Jeez. Right, there we go. That's clear. That's clear. There's Jeez, the he does the chokehold, lets right, him out, go. and the guy's like, what the hell? That's and clear. then it's up. Um... There's the first action is around the neck. Then you take your arm away. And deliberately, you'll hit him with the elbow in the head. That's a red card. No. Sebastian Van Maina is sent off. Straight red card. How is France? That's He's a driven team. out the way, but the ball is dislodged. Castro had the numbers there. That looked around the neck on Girondeau. So, yeah, guys, when I think of rugby, I, I, like three teams come to mind when I think of, like, ooh, like who are the really good team, the good countries? And I think of New Zealand, Austria, Australia, sorry, New Zealand, Australia, South Africa. And are those usually the top three? But who, who are like the, the other great ones? Referee's given the knock-off. Oh, the numbers there. That looked around the neck on 
Girondu. Referee's given the knock oh, off. Bastro's off. Bastro is off. This, I'm telling you, he's gone. Boy. Here it comes. Wait for it. Boom. Oh, that wow. is a big boy right there. And he just came in full body punch. Oh, dear. Was exactly what he's doing there. Yep, that's yellow for Sanson. And no option. Bastro knows. Oh, shouldn't have bounced, but it does. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear. Well, he's had a red card. On you come, Dixie. From Wayne Barnes. He's going to get one here, I think. From Wayne Barnes' is compatriot. Re replay, please. Beyond where he lands, but it's so dangerous. Stewie. It is Sorry, awful. Bad. That's got to be a red. Whether it's upper back, sometimes they say Stewie when he lands on the upper back, this has got to be a red Good card. Whether it's upper back, sometimes they say Stewie when he lands down. on the upper back, this has got to be a red Good card. Yeah, but whether it's upper back, sometimes they say. So he jumps up, he's jumping up, he catches it, and he's hit at the legs. This has got to be a red. So you're not allowed to do that, obviously. So do you have to wait until he comes down? Good for a discussion when you're ready, please. That, that, that didn't seem as malicious to me as some of the other stuff. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm ready. Um foul play number four goes to catch the ball that's very dangerous by number 16 that is I, a I don't know card. what I'm talking about yes. so just observing learning cold out there on the wing for Tom Van Dell since he came on Hodgson it's meant for Cueto it could be anybody's and you worry for Cueto and he's lost it now see that seemed like a like to me in like my football mind I'm like oh that's a good tackle Cueto it could be anybody's and you worry how is that bad? Came on, Hodgson. It's meant for Cueto. So he, this guy's the defender, know, knows he's about to catch it. He catches it Anybody. and gets tackled. Anybody. And that's a red card? So that's a penalty? And such a bad one that, that he's rushing to fight him. Please uh, explain that one, guys. So what was he supposed to do? The defender. So you're the defender. You're about to see him catch it. So do you have to wait until he lands again? So this guy has to jump a little to get it. This guy has, is supposed to stop, wait for him to land, and then tackle? Uh, that doesn't make sense sense to me uh, can you guys help me could be anybody's and you worry for Cueto it seems and he's lost it now with Tuilangi he's fed up I, guys I know I'm saying oh that seemed fine when I don't know the rules I don't mean to sound too cocky or confident and now the punches are raining in and it's a free for all as both sides try and protect their players. like that draws this reaction but like repeated punches to the face or like pile drivers, and everyone's like, all right, red card. But that caused everyone to go in a brawl. Maybe there was some stuff before that, and it was a really heated game. But yeah, I would really love... Cueto was taken high by Tuilangi. He then suffered from Billy's heart. What number is that guy? 11, yeah. 11 blue. Yeah, blue. But right. after that, the other thing, we had to all in, obviously. The other key thing is that the third with no number, the ball did. So he's punching a number 11 yeah. blue with a high tackle. Yeah, and it's your choice on that. Yeah, he's, no, he's going to go. Okay. Of course, number the 11 could get England in trouble. Ah. It's a dangerous tackle. And you were involved in off the ball. It was, and you were involved in off the ball. It's red, you're off. It's a question of the color, and it's red. And it's right. He has a very intimidate, intimidating face, facial features. I like it. White player, please. Doesn't that just look like an intimidating dude right there? But of course, the punching in the follow-up and Lewis Clearly it Moody was a dangerous tackle. is the man. You've chosen to take the law into your own hands. So punches, you've thrown well five or six punches. He's been sent off, but there's no excuse for retaliation. Lewis Moody is sent off as well. 
retaliation. You guys, I could take these guys easy, right? And the irony, of course, is that Alessana Tuilangi and Lewis Moody are teammates at Leicester. For the tackle. For the punch. And if you rein in punches like that, you also have to reach the conclusion that Moody had to go as well. I mean, Tuilangi. How is that bad? That is dangerous. That itself is not a red card offence. That is naive. Tuolangi does that all the time. He's committed himself to the ball. He's... Right? Yeah. I don't see how that would should be a, a... But I don't know the rules. Guys, seriously, how... If that you gave me a ball and put me on the field with these guys, how, how would I do? Love you guys. Hope you're doing well. Uh, would appreciate answers to my uh, questions, especially about the last one. And uh, yeah, uh, if you're not doing well, chin up. You'll be good soon. Emotions are fickle, my friend. Look at me. You'll be fine. Bye, guys.